now the next concept and the convection series is energy equation of a boundary layer now as we have done the momentum equations for the boundary layers now it's turn to do the energy equation in case of a boundary layer now as already we have done right so we are again taking the small volume in this and again we are assuming dz is equal to 1 so we are left with with this which is dx and dy now if you see that what kind of energy equations yeah, what kind of energy is being transferred from this differential volume right so it is based upon the first law of thermodynamics that the energy is being conserved right so we have to prove in this boundary layer that how this energy equations will work in it right so let us say this is y direction and this is x direction so the energy is being convected through this as well as it is being convected through this direction right so this is the y and this is the x and what amount of energy is being transmitted out of this and what amount of energy is being transmitted out of this is the e convected from y plus dy right and here it is convected from x plus dx right and apart from this heat convec convected energy convected from this bottom surface the energy is being conducted also in the y direction right and if it is conducted from here it will go y plus right and also in this there will be viscous heat generation within this control volume so let me write what are in and what are outs so in are heat convected through x plus energy convected through y plus energy conducted through y plus viscous heat generation should be equal to the heat convected through x plus dx plus heat convected through y plus dy plus heat conducted through y plus dy right so let me introduce to you that what is heat being conducted convected through x heat convected that is energy flow rate connected convected through x will be equal to mu times u 
because u is the velocity in this direction and v is the velocity in this direction right so it is rho u of dy into 1 that is area right and this is mass into the specific heat into the temperature let's say T right and what is the energy converted through x plus dx so it will be rho u will become u plus du by d x into dx and this dy I will take out so cp will again be here so it will be t will become t plus dou t by dou x into dx with dy right similarly we can write the net change of energy in x direction will be this minus of this so it will be rho u t of dy minus cp rho u of dy if i multiply this it will be t mu t dy right and so it will be after solving this i will get this so this will cancel out and we will neglect this higher order terms in this case so we are left with the situation that is minus mu cpi will take common that is rho cpi will take common and it will be of mu dt by dx plus t du by dx with this right so i'll mark it as one so similarly i can write in case of net change of energy in y direction will be mu cp of v dt by d by plus t dv by d y into dy dx into one right so this is two now we have find the difference of this right and the difference of this right so we left with the conduction in the y direction so heat conduction and the y is given by right and what will be at y plus dy it will be the dt by dy plus dt by dy into dy with dx so when i find the net change of 
एनर्जी कंडक्टेड इन वाई डायरेक्शन राइट सो इट विल बी दिस माइनस ऑफ दिस सो इट विल बी लेफ्ट विद कर्ल स्केयर टी बाय कर्ल बाय स्केयर इन टू डी एक्स डी बाय वन बाय सो इट इज द नेट चेंज कंडक्शन इन वाई डायरेक्शन सो दिस इज माय दिस इज माय थर्ड राइट सो वी स्टार्टेड विद this and we have find the difference of these two these two and these two right and we left with the viscous heat generation in this case so the viscous heat generation in, in this case will be minus mu right into the distance moved that will be so it comes to be mu du by d by square into dx d by this is 4 so if i combine all these then it will be equal to 0 so let us combine so it will be on combining to 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 so it will be minus mu cp of u dt by dx plus T du by dx, right? Minus mu cp, it will be dv, sorry v, dt by dy plus t dv by dy. I'll take on the these parameters out of it. so plus it will be k d square t by d by square plus mu du by d by the whole square right so if i take this common out of it so it will be minus rho cp and i'll combine these terms together and these terms together so it will be u dt by dx plus v dt by dy plus t as a common it will be du by dx plus dv by dy plus k right so if you remember this is equal to 0 as per continuity equation right and this will be going on that side so it will become positive so we can write it as u curl t by curl x plus v Curl T by curl Y is equal to K mu C P, right? Of curl square T by curl Y square plus mu rho C P and if viscous force as compared to this will be very very small so square will be more small so we'll can neglect this and 
our equation will now be this is what is diffusivity right so this equation is called as energy equation in boundary layer concept right so remember we have derived these three equations so it will be du so it will be v du by dy is kinematic viscosity of shear stress this is called as momentum equation right and also we have derived yes the continuity equation so these three equations will have a very significant role and if you see these two so there is a significant role of this together right so we'll in the next lecture we'll do the integral method and for both for the energy equation as well as the momentum equation to get the ratio of u by u infinity from this and from here it is the temperature gradient that what it should be equal to so in the upcoming videos i'll upload the integral method of the momentum equation to get the relationship between u and u infinity as well as with respect to t and t infinity the methods are same right so we'll do in the next video